What's up, everyone? So since I started doing Confessions of a Server, I had a lot of people reach out to me and just want to know basic tips and advice on serving. So I figured instead of putting it up on my Instagram page like I normally do, I'm going to go on and give you a Confessions of a Server advice video. Warning. This isn't going to be your typical be a hard worker, run food kind of video. Now, I'm going to give you real advice on what I do, my thinking, and just how I like to have fun and enjoy my tables. Also, I've been drinking, so who knows what's going to come out of my mouth. Greeting tables is very important to me. That is where you set the tone for the kind of service that this table's gonna get. And with me, as you can tell, I'm a very joking, fun guy. Um, I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna come up to you and be like, hi, my name's Quaylen, I'm gonna be taking care of you. Can I start you off with a cheese fry and maybe a cold beverage? That's not me. I'm gonna listen to, as I'm approaching to your table and probably try to start a conversation off of what you're talking about or break the ice in that way. It has hurt me, but more, it has helped me because it really just starts engaging the uh, customer in a way that a lot of people don't do and it kind of sets me apart. One of my favorite stories, one thing that I, that I love to tell people is once I approach the table and as I'm walking to the table, I hear it was two, two ladies. I hear one of the ladies say, well, I'm probably gonna fuck them tonight. Other people wouldn't know what to do wouldn't know how to respond to that as you're walking up to the table, or they'll probably just ignore it. Me? Nah. What I did, I got to the table, and after she said that, yeah, I'll probably fuck them tonight. I whisper under my breath, loud enough so they can hear it. I feel sorry for that guy. When I look up like that, I look at her friend like that. Her friend starts laughing. She just, she just, she loses her shit, she just starts laughing. And then the friend in return, the, the one who said it, started laughing as well. But then she also said, yeah, cause I'm fucking crazy. Right there, this table, I already know the kind of personality I have. I know that I'm gonna be able to joke around with them and end up being a great table. So when you're greeting your tables, just try to be different, try to stand out. Don't sit there and just be so robotic. Be you, be, so, be, be what got you this job. One thing that I hate is when, for example, table full of guys come in and a male server tries to give it off to a female server and says, hey, they're all guys, they're gonna tip you better. They don't tip guys better. That is completely false. I say, know your audience and know how to engage and interact with those people. If it's a table full of white guys, you're not gonna sit there and offer them uh, Hennessy or Cavassier, right? Even if there's one black guy there, you may offer it and he might be the only one who look up like, but no one else is going to. So if you're gonna greet a table full of white guys, you wanna offer um, a craft beer or an IPA. I guess that's kind of like the pumpkin spice lattes for white guys, right, it's IPAs. Also, if you approach a table full of guy, black guys, same thing, you're not gonna wanna offer up uh, wine or anything, or if you're just trying to have conversation with them, you don't even have to do that much. Just mention uh, Kobe Bryant or LeBron James, and then the conversation just takes off. They'll have a conversation amongst themselves, and you don't even have to do anything but just stand there. You're not gonna wanna bring up hockey or baseball, even though baseball is my favorite sport. I'm not knocking it, but if I'm with my family members, we're not gonna sit there and have an in-depth conversation about baseball but you bring up Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson and we can sit there and talk about that, which will evolve into basketball for hours. So just know your audience. Lastly, if, if you've been following me from the beginning, you know how much I hate kids in restaurants and how I hate serving them. But that doesn't mean that I do not take great care of kids and parents when they come in. Same thing, you just gotta know how to take care of them. And I'm gonna tell you one thing that's gonna make you more money when you're taking care of kids. Play into the little shits. Joke around with them, 
uh, give them cookies and, and crayons, color with them, uh, try to talk to them even if they can't talk. Just play into the kids and the parents are gonna love that. One thing that I do that is one thing that I've never seen anyone else do that I work with or any other restaurant, when I'm presenting the check to the table, I'll hand it to a kid. Five, 10, 15, and by here you go, just lay a flat whenever it's ready, and the parents love it. <laughs> he actually thinks little Jimmy's gonna pay. No, I don't, I know that they're not, but it just made you smile, and it just made me smile, because you're gonna give me five extra dollars or so. I also even might throw in there, oh yeah, and since I did a good job, I demand a 50% tip, which has happened more times than you think. Then my the parent hears me say that, and then they also, they write in there, I get a 50% tip, it happens. So just play into the kids, even if you hate them or not, and that will do you better when dealing with kids. Alrighty, friends, that's all the advice I have for you today. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know some advice you have down in the comments below, and I'll be back with more advice videos if you guys like them. Also, make sure you check out Stuck in Glass, for the awesome glassware, use the promo code SERVER15 and front of house gear. If you like my t-shirt, they have a lot of t-shirts on there. Still, promo code SERVER15, you'll get 15% off of both your stuck in glass purchases and your front of house gear purchases. I will see y'all soon.